Yeah guys, welcome back to the video. I know it has been a long time since the last video, but I really didn't have much time lately. So yeah, here we are back again and let's get right into it. As you can see, I started by cleaning the interns of the main gearbox. And yeah, there were lots of roll bearings and yeah, I took them apart, cleaned them all thoroughly in acetone and sometimes gasoline. Next, I put everything back together. While doing that, I used a ton of grease that's simply to ensure that nothing breaks uh, down later. And the grease, of course, also helps to keep the rollers on the shaft because otherwise they just would have fallen down. Here we go. So guys, before I'm going to start to clean the uh, transfer case, I will uh, start getting the first layer of paint onto our gearbox. And yeah, I also cleaned up the shifting lever. And yeah, now it goes on to it like this. Moment. Yeah, it's got on to it like this. Um, I tried to cut out a um, paper gasket for the two surfaces, but I, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't able to do it properly. So therefore I got the silicon type gasket maker. And yeah, I'm just going to spread it between the two surfaces and yeah, that should also be fine and it shouldn't leak. So what I now did, I spread the silicone paste uh, evenly around the surfaces and yeah, I just put it I put the shifting lever uh, on top of the gear case and yeah, I lifted it up. It's kind of hard, but it's possible. And yeah, now I can see the penetration level of the silicone. And yeah, around here, it's perfectly fine. But if you look here, here I used uh, not enough of the paste. And yeah, now I'm going to put more paste onto the surfaces. And by doing this, I can confirm that there's enough silicone paste on the area and you also don't want to use too much of it too much of it won't be good either because then it comes spraying out uh, everywhere and yeah that's not good if for example it drips down into the transmission uh, you have a dirt in your oil and you don't want to have that yeah so now i just put in two bolts that's for squeezing the two surfaces together uh, later I will take them out and use six completely new bolts and yeah this is our transmission at the moment and with the help of a little bit of editing yeah this is a final product um, I think it turned out pretty nice uh, the paint looks good so as I told you earlier we've got a crack in our flywheel cover or I don't know what it's called exactly but yeah, here we can see the crack. I cleaned the whole cover. I yeah prepped the crack for welding. And yeah, I saw that there's a crack as well. And you can't see it at the moment, but here were also cracks. And here on the inside, you can see the other side of the crack. I'm going to weld it from both sides. So it's uh, plenty strong. And yeah, this is the side where the crack found on the other bolt side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a washer and weld it right around it. So it adds up a little bit of strength. Yeah, in the process of restoring the transfer case, I took it apart for cleaning purposes and to look how the insides look. Uh, for example, I got some new bearings and seals. And yeah, while I was doing that, I took apart the needle bearing. And I now cleaned it firmly and oops. Yeah, I now have the pleasure to put back the needles inside of this, then put the gear inside of a transmission, and then, yeah, put that really big bolt or yeah shaft into it uh, without getting the needles all messed up. So yeah, um, not quite a job I'd like, but yeah, I have to do it. And so I managed to pack on all the needles. I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, I did use a ton of grease because yeah, otherwise they wouldn't stick there. 
and yeah now they are packed quite nicely and yeah we can install the gear and then put through the shaft so this is the final product or the final result um, it's all turning smoothly you can shift now you have to align it of course it's kind of hard with one hand yes and yeah now we shift it into <clears throat> our normal gear and align it again yeah this is our low gear and yeah i greased everything up in normal standard manual transmissions except with the, this big uh, of gears it's uh, usually a good thing to grease everything uh, nicely up and yeah it won't harm anything uh, this goes not for automatic transmissions uh, that's a different story but um on such big gears and such an old transmission grease is nothing bad so yeah i could have even put more in it but it's fine for now I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for not filming that much of uh, rebuilding the uh, transfer case and transmission. That's because I'm only yeah I'm the only one working on this project, and it's quite hard to film and yeah work on it. So um, I just wanted to say quickly what we did. Uh, we changed out the bearings. Uh, we greased everything. We uh, changed out the seals. We of course cleaned everything firmly. Um, yeah, of course, I already painted with the gearbox. Uh, next, we'll first um, paint the transfer case. And yeah, then the accessory parts that are going on both sides. For example, uh, the part, which is quite heady, heavy, <laughs> on which the shifter links go, um, is already painted. And I have to assemble it. We've got a new wheel bearing. It's somewhere right it's right here um yeah you can see the difference this is the old one it's quite rusty inside and i don't like it i don't feel good with working on it so i bought a brand new one um it's a quality wheel bearing and it should last a long time and yeah make me feel way better i also got some seals uh for both sides and mine are yeah, plastic virgin world ones were like you can see here um stain a uh, steel uh but yeah that's all i could find here in my region so it should be fine it's not a place where you might expect a lot of heat here you can see me punching the parts carefully back home um, you can be sure that I was very careful because I didn't want to break anything. I also greased up everything and later put down the gasket silicone so nothing would leak out later. Alright guys, next on the list is the rear differential and yeah, I already went through the hassle and removed the axle bolts and it was quite hard for me because I didn't have the right socket and yeah, the next problem was uh, one side is a 31 millimeter, uh, excuse me, 41 millimeter and the other side is a 36 millimeter socket and yeah, so I went to a local mechanic shop, asked them if they could remove both bolts and they did it, so that's quite nice for me. And yeah, now uh, we will move on to remove the differential cover, get out the old oil and look how the gears inside look, if there are any teeth broken or something like that. And if that's good, we will remove the C-clips from the axle, take out the axle itself and then clean everything and yeah, move on. <laughs> So I'm trying to let the 
the French will bleed out and yeah that's a lot of oil in there and yeah I think it might take a while but yeah we have time it's no problem I don't know if you are able to see on video but the oil coming out of the differential is gross and yeah those big particles there yeah aren't actually out of the differential that's the dirt that was outside of the case so don't think that's out of there but i think you can quite good see from the color of the oil it's not the best and yeah it should have been changed a long time ago all right i just wanted to show you something uh, behind the scenes yeah um these are so-called u-joints and yeah they are for transferring the direction of movement so that yeah the chef can turn and go uh, from an angle like so i will show you it uh, later more in detail So we just put it the U-joint in and yeah, you saw me hammering down on those with a socket. Uh, it's not the best way to do it. You ideally do it with a press and press down on it, but I unfortunately don't have a press that this part is fitting in. So yeah, I had to push it with a hammer or punch it with a hammer. And yeah, now it's in and yeah, the work it's doing, you can see it's an angle. And when the shaft is at an angle, you can still turn it, one moment, and the two flanges will be parallel, and not parallel, will be uh, yeah, symmetrical to the input there in. I hope you can see it or think how it's working. It's kind of hard to show. Um, but yeah, uh, once it's installed, I will show it to you again. So the rear differential has this kind of seal. And uh, it's, if you look at it, it's a specific part only for this differential. And at least where I am, I couldn't find a replacement. So yeah, what I did it was I took a new part, um, made it on the lathe. So this part will go flush here. And you can see here's the seat and this step will set right there. And when I punch this part in, there will be the ceiling here, this right here, which goes inside of this, so that the output shaft can rotate inside the ceiling. And yeah, so I have no problems with oil getting out of a differential. Yeah, that's just something I made, because as I mentioned, the part isn't av available here. And yeah. So now I have a uh, part I can always find and replace. And yeah, I think it turned out quite nice. So yeah, the transmission is completely rebuilt. Um, one part right here is missing. I have to order it and it will come soon. So uh, we replaced all the bearings inside, uh, cleaned everything up, greased everything. And yeah, I made this bolt uh, on the lathe because the old one, right here and as you can see it's broken and welded together and yeah that was not acceptable for me so yeah i made a new one on the lathe and put it on i have to put this pin through and then cover everything up up and it should be fine yeah so the gearbox is shifting nicely that's first gear second third and yeah i have to turn it a bit Mid. reverse so yeah the gearbox is working um i think it turned out very nice especially if you compare it to how it was before 
and yeah so i also start to rebuild the real differential um i wasn't able to film anything on this because i had forgot my camera and yeah my home is quite far away from here so yeah what i actually did i opened it up uh checked all the gears inside those look good and if you know how differential is made there's a pin holding two gears together and that pin is uh, secured by one bolt and unfortunately while i opened it up i discovered that the head of that bolt uh, is broken off so therefore i couldn't rip, uh, take it out and look out the insides but yeah as far as i've seen it uh, it looks fine and yeah i started painting it then i uh, decided to paint it by spray paint so that i get the compressor and just spray it because it has uh, lots of fine detail where um, the brush just won't go in very well so yeah that's what i'm going to do next also i need new seals for the bearings right here i will uh, place an order soon and yeah this is what we've done so far yeah that's it for this video i hope you had fun if you have something to share um or some suggestions how i could make things better please let me know down in the comments and yeah in the next part we'll finally start working on the engine until then have a nice time